Hey folks, welcome to module three, using Moodle for your courses. In this module, we're gonna just take a dive into looking at Moodle and looking at the things and tools that you'll need in your different courses and just getting a little familiarity and comfortable with them. Some of these things you may already be introduced to because you are in the uh, Moodle and Online Learning 101 program, but it's useful just to kind of highlight them and make sure, or just to reiterate so that you, you know you're not missing anything. So let's get started. So in nearly all your courses, Moodle is going to be a key component. Moodle is a learning management system that College Unbound uses as a place to host learning materials, activities, and uh, assignments and the like for face-to-face, -face, synchronous, and asynchronous courses. It's an interactive and secure website where instructors and students can engage in teaching and learning. So navigating in, in Moodle uh, happens largely in two ways. In when you're in Moodle in the center area, you can certainly scroll up and down uh, using your mouse pad. And then you can also use what is known as the course index. Each line is a link to somewhere within that course. Uh, when you select links on the navigation, the content will then appear here in the middle. So if I selected getting started in an online course, it would then pop up here and I could look and follow through. So as we get into the course, here are some of the tools that we're looking at. We have the announcements form, and instructors provide announcements that are usually quick updates and clarifications to students about what is going on in the course currently. The announcements form will, po uh, will post the most recent announcements, and students will also receive these announcements via their College Unbound email. Discussion forums, this is a major tool in online courses. Instructors often look for students to participate in meaningful discussions weekly based around the course content and ideas being discussed. The quiz feature, uh, instructors can create quizzes and tests for students to take uh, using this feature. By clicking on a quiz, you will be brought to the quiz's front page uh, where it will provide you with some details about the quiz, such as if there's a time limitation, the number of questions, etc., and then allow you to access it. Typically, at College Unbound, instructors do not use the quiz feature as, test, as a testing method, but some may use it as a means of knowledge checking and helping you to see if you understand what you're learning. We have the assignments option, and this is where students would upload a document or a file uh, for, the for the instructor to evaluate. And then there's other tools that also are included in Moodle that you may see instructors using. Um, these may include things such as wikis, interactive videos, and blogs. And so you will also see that uh, videos, videos and activities throughout this program will show you how to use these tools, but we're going to just dive in quickly and take a look at a couple of them in our course. So here we are in our Moodle course of Moodle and Online Learning 101. Uh, we're going to scroll down, and as I mentioned, the first thing we will check out is the announcements forum. So the announcements forum, this is where your instructor will post announcements. If you go into it, of course, you will see there is an announcement here. And this page would fill up with additional announcements. They would show you who posted, when was the last post, if there was any replies, etc. Uh, you can also star a discussion. So if there's a post that you really want to stay at the top, you can come over here, click on the three dots, and star this discussion. For some reason that didn't take, let's try that again. And there we are. Now this is starred. This will tell me that you know this is one that I want to pay attention to. Um, you can also sort the discussion. So if you wanted to just uh, sort it by the titles, by who posted it, it's typically going to be your instructor. Um, and then you can also search the forums. So you can also search um, if you're looking for something particular. You can use that search function, and it will look at this and other forums. And then you can also uh, filter it as need be. But let's go into the the actual post. Again, you get some information here about the post. Um, you know, this is what the announcement is. If I wanted the link to this for some reason, uh, maybe somewhere else, I wanted to show in another discussion, you know, what was said here, um, I certainly could grab that link, uh, what's called a permalink to that post. That's the announcements. Again, it's, it's typically going to be the instructor sending things to you or to all the students so everybody knows what is, uh, what's happening. 
So like the discussion, like the announcement form, the discussion form is also is actually the same tool, except that you as a student have the ability to respond. So if we go into the this discussion form, again, we know it's a form. Um, we usually will have what's expected of this. So we want to make sure we view it. We want to make sure we start a discussion and have one and post one reply. Typically, you'll have the prompt right here, and then when you're ready to add a discussion, you add discussion topic. There's an entire video on how to do this, so I'm not going to dive into it too much, but just know this is where you would go. This is where you would see back and forth with you and your, uh, with your peers as well as the instructor. Let's take a quick look at the assignment tool. So again, another activity, we do have a video on this as well, but uh, to do the assignments, you will go into the thing, uh, to the item that's called assignment, and notice the icons here indicate what the thing is. So this is something we are uploading it. So it has a little arrow going up on a document. You go in, again, it tells you what would be expected, that you would view it and you would make a submission. You'd have the directions. And then if this was my first attempt, I would add uh, or submit, submit an assignment and upload that document. Instead, I've already submitted this so you can see what it looks like after the fact. And then finally, let's actually go down to a quiz and I'm going to use um, the index this time to get to that quiz just to show you how that's done. So if I pop down here, uh, I am now in the module four challenge, how ready am I for online learning? And so again, it is, I'm told it's a quiz. I've got that little checkbox icon. Uh, this tells me that I have to view and receive a grade in order for this to be complete. So I've viewed it, which means this part is done, but I still need to receive a grade. When I'm ready, I can attempt quiz and I'm going to attempt the quiz and then it's just going to show up here and I'm going to slowly make my way, my way through it. Uh, in this case, it's a multiple choice quiz. On the right, it tells me, you know, what, it tells me how far along I am. And I can actually flag a question if there is a problem, um, if there's a concern or something doesn't make sense. But I can select an answer. I can, if I don't like that answer, I'm not ready to actually um, submit that answer. I can clear my choice and decide, nope, actually I want this one. I can hit check and it gives me feedback right in the moment. It tells me, um, okay, here's what I need to know if in this case, you know, I, uh, I'm not prepared to agree with the statement. And then I can hit next page and move on to the next item. Um, so I can move through the quiz as, you know, slowly and surely. And when I am done, it will give me, uh, it will give me my final, uh, my final grade on this quiz. That's the quiz feature. Um, as I said, there will be other things in here and um, there'll be other things that you will be exposed to and we will have videos to support how to use them. And also your instructor generally should be walking you through how to use them. But that's the overview of kind of moving around and engaging in Moodle. It is pretty straightforward. A lot of it is just paying attention to the index uh, and where you are in the course. You know, whenever you get lost, you can always just kind of come back to this main page and keep working your way down. And just knowing that if you run into any question, if you run into any issues or concerns, it's always important and valuable to reach out to your instructor or to reach out to tech support at collegeunbound.edu for additional guidance. We hope this has been helpful. Let us know if you have any questions.